Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for asking questions about buying this or any watch you see here on our channel or our website. Reach out to me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today, we're discussing a watch launched at Basel World 2007, the Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5167A001. 40 millimeters in stainless steel, this timepiece is no longer the little brother to the Nautilus, but a more youthful, stripped down, and elemental sports watch in the tradition of Patek Philippe. The timepiece is thin at only 8.3 millimeters thick. I actually measure it slimmer than a 5711, and 46.7 millimeters from lug to lug. It's a good size for a broad range of wrists. 21 millimeters is the spacing between the horns, giving the watch a nice modern and proportional stance and on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist it wears easily comfortably flat and flush suitable for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference and easy to slide underneath any kind of a tight sleeve or dress cuff the watch includes a composite strap to use Patek Philippe's term I call it rubber it has a geosphere cut that nicely matches the dial and you can see that it actually thins out as it moves away from the case but it's curved to match both the slope of the lugs and the curve of the case so it gives a highly integrated look almost as though the watch were on a strap you can see there are hollows on the underside to vent the wrist on a hot day and then there are several different scoring marks on both sides so you have plenty of flexibility to size this to suit the strap fitted is a brand new Patek Philippe strap unsized you have a double the point clasp that I actually find richer and more substantial than the clamshell system used on the Nautilus. You can see that the internal chassis doubles as springs and swing arms for the trigger mechanism that releases and opens the clasp. All of high polish and stainless steel, it matches the steel of the case. The case is simplified compared to a Nautilus, but it's also graceful and thinner than a Nautilus. Polished lug tops, satin finished case flanks, polished horns for the shoulder guards, and then you can see a polished bezel side that gives way to a satin finished top, and you can see that Patek Philippe is referencing the Nautilus without plagiarizing it, as you have the rounded polygon shape of the Nautilus bezel with polish on the flank and satin on the top. You'll also note there's satin finish on the opposite side of the case and handsome blended lug profiles. The dial has a sort of a gradient from a silver gray to center to almost black at its edge, a metallic sunburst splayed out from the Canon pinion, and then it has a sort of geosphere or globe inspired cut to it as this is designed to be a world wandering sports watch and white gold hands and white gold applique Arabic numerals. The watch does not feature hacking seconds but I've often mentioned that these 324 SC calibers can effectively be hacked by applying calculated back pressure. And as you can see the timepiece which includes a quick set system let me demonstrate that. Allows you to rapidly adjust should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. That screw down crown endows the watch with 120 meters worth of water resistance. So loomed automatic strap borne and highly water resistant. This is a full service sports watch. Flip it over and you have a Patek Philippe Caliber 324 SC. Handsomely manufactured, you can see it features all the standards of Geneva High Horology, as well as an impressive degree of technological sophistication in the form of ceramic rotor bearings. It is a unidirectional winder with ceramic bearings for minimal lubrication requirement and high efficiency winding. It has a silicon Spiromax style anti-magnetic hairspring, and it features a Gyromax style free sprung balance, beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, adjusted in six positions, one more than the high horology and chronometer standard. It pivots on 29 joules. It features the quick set function, the 35 to 45 hour reserve, the 120 meter water resistance, and beautiful finish. As you can see, even with out a loop, you can appreciate the deep Cote de Genève, darkly ridged, the engine turned perlage, the mirrored anglage on the edge of the bridges, the black polished screws, and the engine turning on the base plate. It is a nicely made movement, extensively hand finished with a case that is likewise extensively handcrafted. A timepiece of stripped down simplicity and impressive gravitas. This is the Patek Philippe Aquanaut, sometimes known as the Aquanaut Jumbo. The 5167A. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And I'm back with the Aquanaut, which I should mention is better loomed than a Nautilus.